My name's Steph, aka The Restyler, and today I'm bringing to you a very quick, simple, yet super effective DIY for your table or coffee table. It's quite rustic, industrial, farmhouse style. As you can tell, I'm just holding the camera with my hand. I'm not even tripoding it today. This video is much more casual than my other DIYs. I just wanted to push this video out really quick for you guys so I can hopefully inspire you guys and maybe you can make one yourself if you like the idea and you need one or want one in your home. So, yeah. Okay, I'm sitting on my couch now so it's a little bit more comfortable. I think I will definitely stick with the tripod for most of my other DIYs because my arm is hurting. Oh, this is like my exercise for the week. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to make an industrial farmhouse style coffee table caddy. Also, I will not be only showing you how I make it, but I'll also be showing you how I style it. As you can probably see and notice, my arm has like gotten lower and lower and lower throughout the video because it is getting so sore. Oh my gosh, this shows you how unfit I am. Why can't DIYs make you fit? Oh, also, if you like this video, then please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up down below. And if you're not subscribed already, then please don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below. And join this little but quickly growing Restyler family. We'd love to have you on board and stick around. All right, now that that has all been said, now let's finally get on into the DIY. <laughs> all right guys, so I just started out with this round wall shelf that I found in the kitty section at Kmart for $9. some matte flat black spray paint from Rust-Oleum, some thick twisted jute rope, a trusty hot glue gun and some glue sticks, and a pair of scissors. So the first step of this project for me was to coat and cover the whole wall frame using the black spray paint because as much as I love gold, it doesn't really fit with my decor at the moment and I wanted to give this tray a little bit more of an industrial farmhouse feel as opposed to a more glamorous feel. However, I do feel like this is quite ironic as most people on YouTube seem to spray paint their things gold or copper at the moment. However, it goes to show that it really does depend on your taste, style and decor. So with spray painting my tray, I just started out with covering the whole front section and then once that was dry, I flipped it over and covered the other side. And for those of you who are doing this project as well and using spray paint, please don't forget to go outside or in your garage and open up all the doors and windows for a well ventilated area. And here's the tray once the spray paint has dried. Now, because I wanted to put some rope handles on my tray, I had to cut some of the wire to make big enough holes for the size of my rope to fit through. So taking some small crafting wire cutters, I cut into the wire mesh and enlarged four separate sections evenly around the circumference of my tray to make room for my handles. So as you can probably see, to make these four holes in the mesh larger, I just clipped a little T out of each one and that left me with a bigger hole. And once I'd cut the four holes, I then started working on the rope handles and this took a little bit of maneuvering as the rope was quite thick and hard to cut. However, I did find that the best way to cut the rope and to make a knot was to unravel the three cords and I used two out of the three pieces of cord to fasten and secure the knot. And then taking some normal thin jute twine, I pulled down the remaining cords of the thick rope and secured those together down the bottom underneath the knot using the twine. And then just taking more of that thin jute twine, I wrapped it all the way around cover up all the excess pieces of thick rope that was sticking out the bottom and secured that using some hot glue. And then after that, I just shimmied it down to fit it nicely into the little hole that I'd made. Once I'd made my first handle, I just 
cut the same amount of rope to be exactly the same so they would be equal and then just repeated the same process on the other side. Now of course you may have an alternate way or a better way I'm sure of it to tie knots in thick rope however this was a first for me and I just made it up as I went and I'm happy with how mine turned out but remember however you choose to knot your rope is completely up to you guys and what you feel comfortable with. Now moving on to the decorative side of the tray I just took some more of the exact same rope and cut it to the length of the sides and then taking some hot glue I just lined the edge with the glue and then just stuck on the rope. I chose to put rope on both the top and bottom rims of my tray but again of course this step is completely optional and you could put more rope or less rope or some wooden beads or even some burlap perhaps. I guess that's the great thing about doing DIYs is that it's completely and totally personable every single time and you can really go to town with however you want and choose it to look. And finally, taking my trusty little cedar wood balls, to which I thought I would actually not use in this project, and again, I've used them, I know, I need to take a break from these cedar wood balls, but they're just so handy and inexpensive and versatile. I glued four of them evenly to the bottom with some hot glue to make little feet for my tray. And lastly, but not least, I just chose to add some thin black ribbon around the base of the handles to just add a little bit more of a black accent. And again, to secure this, I just used my trusty hot glue gun. And voila, there you have it guys. A simple, inexpensive, and incredibly stylish, one of a kind coffee table tray caddy. And now onto the extra fun part, the styling. So of course, yet again, this part is completely and totally personable and optional for each person. So for me, I'm choosing to keep my caddy tray on our coffee table. So I'm just choosing to put and place in some purposeful essentials that we use on a daily basis, like tissues, the remote, some coasters, and just a few decorative pieces as well, like the flowers and candles. And I also popped in some country white painted books that I made from another DIY on my channel just for a little bit of an accent but also to give you an idea that you could pop in your favorite go-to books or magazines if you like as well. And if you're curious about my white painted books then just pop over to my five farmhouse DIY and that DIY is also in that video for you guys. So I'm just showing you a few different faux flower options that I chose to experiment with however obviously the rest stayed the same and one of the main things that I love about this DIY caddy tray is that it has its own little compartments already which I find makes styling even easier as it's really just fill in the gaps with essentials and then just add some more personal items that you love so here's a final finished and styled product I really hope you love it guys as much as I do and want to make one for yourselves keeping in mind that it's super easy to make and very inexpensive as in total this tray costs under 15 Australian dollars to make so to me it actually looks a lot more expensive than it actually cost what do you guys think let me know in the comments below thank you all so much for watching and while I've got you here I'd also love to thank and welcome all of my new subscribers and also a big shout out to my old and faithful as well of course Thank you all so much for your support, kind words and encouragement and for joining this small but quick
quickly growing restyler family. It's so great to have you all on board and I love you all so much. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe and I'll see you all next time. Thanks so much for watching guys. Bye.